Renowned the world over for its crystalline blue waters and its white sand beaches and often called the tropical paradise in the Indian Ocean, the Maldives is essentially a fragile ecosystem built on coral reefs. This small island nation is acutely vulnerable to the effects of climate change and to degradation of its land and sea resources from poorly managed waste. Given the scarcity of land, which is under threat of erosion from sea level rise induced by climate change, disposal of waste in landfills is not an option here. Poor waste management practices are having a huge impact on us, as our sources of food are contaminated by exposure to waste. One of the most persistent wastes degrading the Maldives are plastics made from fossil fuels that generate carbon emissions when they are produced and eventually break down into microplastics and toxins when discarded into the ocean. And single-use plastics are among the most harmful types of plastics due to the sheer volume of their use. Their lightweight and portability means they can easily escape trash bins and containers and flow into the sea where they harm marine life and contaminate food supplies. The Maldives is prioritizing a shift from a linear use and dispose system of waste management to a use and reuse or waste to wealth approach that aspires to a more circular economy. Two World Bank International Development Association supported projects, the Maldives Enhancing Employability and Resilience of Youth and the Maldives Clean Environment Projects have joined hands to align resources to help Maldives develop new practices and skills to turn waste into wealth. These projects are also supported by the Pro Blue Trust Fund. With the large young population, it is important to treat waste as an opportunity for innovation and create income earning opportunities. MCEP project has been supporting women's development committees to promote the production and community use of alternatives to single-use plastics, while the MIRI project is collaborating on this work by introducing resources to incubate new business models for plastic reuse and waste alternatives and extending business services. The MIRI project under the Ministry of Higher Education and the Ministry of Economic Development is leading the development of a first-of-its-kind waste-to-wealth technical vocational education and training program in strong collaboration with the Ministry of Environment, Climate Change and Technology. So this becomes as a training program whereby the participants will be uh, implementing the 3R principles. At the same time, through their through the program, they will be learning uh, the knowledge and the skills to really make wealth out of the waste that has been gathered across waste management centres. Reducing the consumption of unnecessary plastics and using waste for new purposes will bring down the cost of waste management, reduce damage to the environment, bring in new business opportunities and help the Maldives mitigate the impacts of climate change. The Maldives is at the vanguard of this waste-wealth paradigm shift and its business-minded and tech-savvy youth who, through their activism, have helped bring the plastics agenda to the attention of government policymakers in the first place, are continuing to show that they can lead the way to a sustainable future.